you already know, it's your boy Upper Class, and I'm rocking with Let the Streets Know. You feel me? I'm sure y'all was tuned in to the last, the last video I dropped, you know, and the caption said, Upper Class speaks on being VSK, MVK beef, show 6K, and calls the ops bro. All right. So I was reading the comments. It's a whole lot of hate going on. I, I feel it. It's like niggas just love to hate me now. Like That's what it came to. Niggas love to hate me. They say I'm cloud chasing. But we're going to get to that point first. Let's do the money part first. Right? See, I still got the big racks. They ain't going nowhere. I still got them. Right? So now, look, this is what we're going to do. Because I see a lot of people saying it's prop money. So, like, we just going to pick any bill, actually. I'm going to pick any bill. You feel me? Look, shine the light. Shine the light on the money so you can see it. I'm gonna put it on the camera. Let's bring it up to the camera. Y'all see the head? You see the head, right? Yeah, y'all see that hologram head right there, right? Boom. Look, this one bill. This one bill. Now I'm gonna throw it on the floor. Take another bill. Look. You see the line right there? You bring it over. You see the head right there? Look, I'm going to drop it on the floor, too. Pick another bill. You see the line right there? Look. Look. You see the head? See the hologram head? It's another one I dropped to the floor. Now, let me go in the middle. Look, I'm going to go in the middle of the stack and just grab any one of the 20s or some shit. Look. See the line right there? See the head right there? Look. Gotta let it focus. Y'all see it, right? Look. Drop that. Look. Look, right? Now, I could keep going, but this is going to take forever. It's a whole lot of bills, right? So now, like, a lot of my subscribers going to tell me, like, yo, Upper, you don't need to explain yourself to these niggas. You know what I mean? But I do, because when people come on the Internet trying to diminish your character, it's up to you to defend it, you feel me? And I'm going to defend my character. So first right there, the money is real, okay? So you dick riders that said the money ain't real. It's real. Yeah, I'm mad now, right? Because y'all always try to bash me with some shit. It's real. Now, I'm going to go to the comments of the video. Let's go to the comments. I'm, this video is going to be me responding to the dickheads in the comments. You feel me? All right, let's go. All, I'm going to go. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the like the first sets of comments. All right, laugh my ass off. Nah, son, that interviewed itself. All right, that's why last time I dropped a video, I said reading is fundamental. The reason why I said reading is fundamental, because nobody chooses, they're like, it's like y'all don't, don't choose to, to read no captions. In the caption, it says Q and A. So that means questions and answers. My fans wanted me to do a Q and A. If you've been tuning into my channel, you see they always ask me in the chat or they ask me in the comments to do a Q&A. So what I did was take some of the questions that my fans had and answered them on the video. Niggas say, yo, he's answering questions he already know the answer to. Obviously, if somebody asked me the question, it's because I know the answer. How would I be able to answer the question if I don't know the answer? They're asking me shit about me. Duh, I'm gonna know the answer. See, that's another way to make y'all niggas look stupid, right? Nigga said, laugh my ass off. Nigga wanna be on Mel's TV or some shit. Nobody cares about your broke ass. I swear if Clout had a dick, you'd be riding it 24-7, broke ass bitch. Hope you get shot. Look, niggas wishing, niggas wishing harm on me, right? So it's like everything you do, no matter what it is you do, Someone is going to say you cloud chasing, especially if there's another party involved in it. So if you beefing with another rapper, they're going to say you're cloud chasing, especially if that rapper music has more views than yours. You're automatically cloud chasing like you're not supposed to argue with nobody with more views than you. You're not supposed to defend yourself as a man because somebody has more views than you because you're going to be categorized as a cloud chaser. Right. Okay, look, I see another comment, nigga, interview yourself. You ain't low, nigga. It's a Q&A, question, answers. It's not an interview. Nowhere in the caption did it say interview, but in the caption it says Q&A. So I don't understand how y'all look past the part where I say Q&A and put interview. 
You feel me? That goes to show that y'all the dick riders that's cloud chasing because y'all looking for my attention. Y'all in my comments looking for my attention. I'm cloud chasing, but yet you watch every single video I drop. I must be an interesting cloud chaser then. I must be putting out great content with this cloud chase chasing shit then, right? Yeah, you might as well bring up MVK and beef again because your view shot down with everything you've been dropping that ain't relate to that. Okay, perfect. My reactions... The views did not drop. My reaction views did not drop. They've been at the same pace. The videos that was getting views was the videos that was filled with controversy. Everybody wants to watch a controversial video. Everybody wants to see, oh, they, they beefing? What's going on? Let me see. Everybody wants to watch that. Everybody's clicking onto that. When I do a reaction to somebody's music, everybody does not want to watch reaction to such and such song or reaction to such and such song they want to watch a reaction to probably what artist they like so they'll watch that song you feel me and some people will watch that song and then i got my, my core fans that will watch every video i drop you feel what i'm saying so my views did not go down my views actually went up right and on top of that my subscribers still climbing still going up and this said video right here that i'm speaking about that y'all in the comments saying i'm cloud chasing i'm doing all of this that video has way more likes than dislikes. The shit has over a hundred and something likes and less than 30 dislikes in less than 24 hours. The video has over 5,000 views in less than 24 hours. You see what I'm trying to show you? Niggas talk about clout. In the video, I clearly says, I won't consider it beef. You feel me? But the question was, how did the MVK beef start? So in the title, I put the most the most intriguing things about that video in the title. Okay, MVK beef. Because that's what the internet is calling it. You feel me? There's a video on internet, MVK doesn't want any beef with upper class. I had several videos. You're not saying that nigga who posted that video is cloud chasing, but I'm cloud chasing. See what I'm trying to show y'all niggas? Y'all niggas is backwards. Y'all just love to hate me so much that y'all try to find anything to diminish my character. But nigga like me is smart enough to rebuttal a thousand niggas in the comments. You feel me? I don't need a million niggas to, to justify what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? I don't need that because nigga, me alone... Is enough for you dumb, retarded ass niggas. Like, I can manage y'all by myself. Y'all niggas' intellect is like fucking of a fucking uh, a squirrel. Like, real talk. Look, bro couldn't get that in no jumper interview, so he interviewed himself. Then again, another person saying, interview. Right? Show 6K, laughing my ass off. I don't know what's funny. Right? Then you got somebody that's saying, oh, this nigga showed 6K. That's three months rent in New York. Okay. You said that like you can acquire 6K so easily, right? Because you're rich, right? Well, I guarantee you live with your mother. 6K is three months rent, right? Watch how I rebuttal you and make you look stupid. 6K is three months rent, right? There's four weeks in a month, right? Two months is eight weeks. Three months is 12 weeks. So you telling me your parents work 12 weeks to pay $6,000 and I'm able to show you $6,000 right up. You telling me that it's not a lot of money and oh, you're trying to bash me for having 6 k and your parents have to work 12 weeks to pay 6 k rent? Are you shitting me? Uh, they have to work for 12 weeks in order to pay that 6K rent. Right? I don't got to work 12 weeks to pay 6K. See the difference? You try to make me look bad, but then now uh, you look stupid again. That nigga's just retarded. Laughed my ass off, made his own questions. Dumbass niggas, if you watch the video and pay attention, you see me looking at my phone. So I was reading the questions. I was reading the questions. Oh, because I didn't put the screen, the screen recording on the side of the screen of me reading it? No, nigga. Everybody knows Upper does not like to edit. That's too much editing. I'm not going to sit here and put a whole screen recording through a nine-minute video. No. That's 
No, that's a duh. Too much editing. G's don't even know you. Alright. Says who? Who the fuck is you? His name is Flockstar. Right? At the end of the day, they call me. Alright, watch this. Every time I made a video about them, I was responding. It was never me first just making a video about them. I was always responding. You feel me? This the last video I just dropped wasn't a video about them. It was just a question and answer. I was answering questions. That's all it was. Right? Now you say niggas don't know me. First of all, a nigga called me. Tutu was in the comments talking shit. Showed y'all this the, the the I showed y'all the whole video of that. Whatever. Fucking um um Breezy Blakey was on live talking about me. I responded. Every time I said something about them, I responded. I didn't come out making videos talking about them. I was just responding. You feel me? So, y'all look stupid again. Another time, y'all look stupid. Niggas keep saying that he interviewed himself. This dude is corny, fake ass interview. It's not an interview. He always speak GD, but Bando, what? Oh, he tried to say good. He always speak good about Bando Black because he know my son Bando will body that nigga. This dude is buns. First of all, that might be a way to trick me into saying, oh, Bando Black won't do shit to me, Bando Black won't this, so that now it could start up an issue with me and Black Bando Black where there wasn't no issue. But first of all, let me get this shit clear. Ain't no rapper in Brooklyn put fear in my heart. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it a broad statement. Ain't no rapper in Brooklyn put fear man, ain't no fucking nigga in the world, period, put fear in my heart, my nigga. No nigga in the world put fear in my heart, bro. Feel me? Period. So, correct what y'all niggas is saying, bro. And stop the dick riding shit. You feel me? I shouted out Bando Black because I, I like what he was saying in his interview. He was talking shit. He made sense what he was saying. He's actually speaking of, like an educated nigga. Unlike some of you niggas, right? Okay. Um, 33 MV Kings can really rap. Hmm? Um, nigga, you a fucking goofy. Y'all calling him sad for interviewing himself, but I find it being I find it being different. Most of y'all only result to hood basic shit y'all see on the channels. At least switching him up to be honest. All right, boom, he's switching it up to be honest. Did this nigga interview himself or I'm bugging Big Blicky? Notice something. All the people that are in the comments saying ignorant shit, like trying to bash me, they're all folk. So like. This isn't a mass of people saying, ah, yo, upper class is a clout chaser. It's a bunch of folk niggas that all chill with each other and have the same opinion. So that all boils down to just one opinion. You feel me? One opinion. It's not mad people's opinion. It's one opinion because y'all are all under the same umbrella. Obviously, y'all going to say the same thing because it's applying to y'all. Right? So that's one opinion. So it's a bunch of folk niggas making one opinion. And it's crazy how y'all niggas always see every video I drop. That simply means y'all subscribe. And if y'all not subscribe, it simply means y'all search my videos every chance y'all get. So that goes to show y'all niggas that y'all are dick riders. Not me. Y'all are dick riders. Because y'all consistently find my videos every time a video come out. How? How do y'all manage to do that? Are y'all niggas is magicians? The fuck? I don't text y'all when a video come out. You feel what I'm saying? But... I'm not going to read any more comments because I don't want to make this video too, too long and shit like that. It's already like, probably like 13 minutes. Feel me? But at the end of the day, I just had to respond to certain shit. You know what I mean? Niggas talk about cloud chasing. Man, listen, I ain't cloud chasing, man. These niggas don't got no cloud for me to chase, bro. These niggas been rapping for years and none of these niggas bought a house or a car yet. How I'm cloud chasing? What cloud is there to get from these niggas? I own a car, got my own crib, make my own bands. Why am I cloud chasing from niggas that I'm doing better than in life? Are they doing better than me because they get more views on their music? Come on, that's something that a kid would say, man. But it's your boy, Upper Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification.